Welcome to this sacred moment of prayer and reflection. Today, we turn our hearts to the Gospel of Matthew, specifically Matthew chapter 9 verses 9 to 13, where Jesus calls Matthew, a tax collector, to be his disciple and demonstrates his love and mercy towards sinners. Let us read the readings for today. Matthew chapter 9 verses 9 to 13. As Jesus was walking on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. Now, while he was at table in the house, it happened that a number of tax collectors and sinners came to sit at the table with Jesus and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your master eat with tax collectors and sinners? When he heard this, he replied, It is not the healthy who need the doctor, but the sick. Go and learn the meaning of the words. Mercy is what pleases me, not sacrifice. And indeed, I came to call not the upright, but sinners. Let us take a moment to center ourselves and invite the presence of God into our midst. Heavenly Father, we come before you with open hearts, seeking your forgiveness and grace. As we delve into this passage, may your Holy Spirit illuminate our minds and inspire us to embrace your love and mercy. In Matthew chapter 9, verses 9 to 13, we witness a profound encounter between Jesus and Matthew, a tax collector despised by society. Jesus, without hesitation, calls Matthew to follow him, disregarding the judgments and expectations of others. He then dines with Matthew and other tax collectors and sinners, demonstrating his acceptance and compassion. Jesus uses this moment to teach the religious leaders about the essence of mercy and the purpose of his ministry. He emphasizes that he came not for the righteous, but for the sinners in need of repentance. As we reflect on this passage, let us examine our own attitudes towards those who may be marginalized or considered outcasts in our society. Are we quick to judge or dismiss others based on their past or reputation? May this story inspire us to embrace Jesus' example of love and mercy, extending grace and compassion to all. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the account of Jesus' call to Matthew. Help us to cultivate hearts of mercy and love, extending your grace to those who may feel marginalized or excluded. Teach us to see others through your eyes, embracing the opportunity to share your love and forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us in this moment of prayer and reflection on Matthew. May we be inspired by Jesus' example of love and acceptance, reaching out to those who need his mercy. Stay tuned for more transformative insights and moments of prayer as we continue this journey of faith together.